Kercher was founded um, by Alfred Kercher in 1935 with a strong focus on development of heating technology. Our first cleaning product is from 1950. It was the first European hot water high pressure cleaner. The cleaning expert that we are now known for was a development that started in 1974 where we put focus on high pressure as a main competence. Karcher is a very famous brand when it comes to cleaning and everybody directly links quality to Karcher. Cleaning itself, cleanliness matters because it makes the world a more safe and comfortable place, more worth living in and it also has the impact of maintaining value. Your bike, your, your car, your home, but also of public spaces or historical buildings. We have a lot of monuments you can see on the website where we try to do some restoration. But on the other hand side, we are not only talking about just end customer or, or, or ourselves to clean our houses. We have also machines for medical purposes also to clean the, the, the hospital. Cleaning is a very important day-to-day -day doing. We try to help people out there uh, with our products to keep their spaces clean. Of course, the main purpose of Karcher is to develop products that are currently not on the market. At the very beginning, these products were always more mechanical, but throughout the years, we were able to realize more and more features in these machines by including electronic systems. These electronic systems, they have allowed us to combine functions of the machine, make them much easier for our users to operate. They, they make much less mistakes. The products are long lasting. Of course, they are also more intelligent. They are connected and partially like Kira B50 also automated. The electronics is getting more and more important based on functionality. So we do not have a, um, only a button to switch on and off the machine and there's a, a strict functionality. Electronics makes the product more alive. We want to make a more, a better experience for the customer based on their needs and therefore electronics, especially hardware and software, is very important to, to establish this kind of features. Kira B50 itself is a very unique product in our range. Um, compared to a traditional scrubber dryer, um, the most obvious um, difference is that it's fully autonomous, so it can work without human interaction for several hours. From a technological point of view, you need to understand that Kira B50, from its size, it's already a large scrubber dryer, and if you want to maneuver such a machine safely in an uh, object where also people are, you need to enable the machine to have a good view of what's happening around it so that it can maneuver safely. To give this machine the heart, the brain, the eyes, we have made use, uh, a lot of use, of sensors like 3D cameras, 2D laser scanners, ultrasonic sensors. We have installed a large industrial computer because the machine is collecting a lot of data and this all needs to be computed. But not only on the hardware part of the machine, it's amazing, also on the software, where usually we have like 10, 20, 30,000 lines of code. On Kira B50, it's more than 1 million lines of code that are, that are needed to make this product work. So it's, it's really groundbreaking for us um, to have developed such a machine. These, these machines are, um, of course, they uh, should be not, not so big that they can drive everywhere. They, they sh should have big containers inside for, for fresh water and for dirt and everything. So there is less room for electronics, of course. So our challenges are to make uh, very compact electronics uh, that has to be able to deliver high power. So if it's driving on straight floor, it's, it's no problem, but it also has to be possible to climb up to 12% uh, to steep. So that means the, the drive uh, controller has to have much power, for example, then uh, you, you need the, the batteries, communication with batteries, so that this thing can drive all the day and uh, you, you don't have to charge it in between. Here, unser, unser op, op, wie heißt es hier, warum haben wir Unterschied zwischen 48 und 24, 36, wenn es ja eigentlich nur... We were facing us a lot of challenges, so we received only a rough idea how the new machine should look like, of course it's for somebody from a product management, just a scrubber. 
but uh, we do not have any electronic system on it. So we had to develop everything on our own. So we had to develop control units, charges, batteries, stuff like that, HMIs. And this was the biggest challenge. So of course, Karch is very experienced in the mechanical part. And of course, the mechanical part, they have a lot of reusable components. But the biggest challenge for us is to develop platforms also out of the electronics too, as I said before, to gain one day also the USPs. And this is something we have to figure out to be in line with the mechanical engineering. Do not be any bottleneck because we're doing electronics. So we have to speed up, also be more efficient in our day-to-day -day work. We have to be in time, in line with the mechanicals. And therefore we also have to um, optimize in processes and tools. And Alcium gives us the opportunity to share data around the world. So we are having development teams in China, in Italy, in Romania, US, and of course it's growing, yeah? no matter that the main uh, headquarter is here. Alcium gives us the opportunity on the engineer role to share data, but also with our EMS that they are involved in a very early step. And this is something which is great. So we do not have to develop something locally, zip it, email it. We can just upload it and then share it in a very early stage. We will receive comments, we can do reviews. And this opportunity, this powerful tool will end up in efficiency. We had a, a, a local SVN server, there were the projects, the libraries. We had external partners, then one of the issues was uh, how to bring these externals uh, to, to work with, with our um, SVN. So you always needed the, the IT guys to create a VPN tunnel and to connect to our SVN. This was one of the topics. Also the, the purchaser wanted to know, okay, for example, which microcontrollers are used in, in which products. So um, it was not possible with this solution. We, we needed uh, urgently a solution to find which components are currently not, not available. This was the, the reason why we, we started there to um, improve our libraries. We stopped from bringing these uh, projects to uh, the SVN server and we, we moved over from, from SVN to the S365 libraries where, where hold there and then since then we have now the feature to, to check which component is in which product and even we can see uh, with Active Bomb which components are end of life or obsolete and, and so this is a great tool and gives a big, big benefit. It's possible for, for the purchasers that, that they check now A365 for which components are used where and they can even also check uh, the availability and end of life information or something. So the mechanical engineer is, is accessing uh, with Altium 365 and he's writing the comment there and uh, is telling okay uh, what, what his wishes are. So also the, the benefit, it's, it's not the email or something else, it's, uh, it's stored inside the project, the information why this change was done for, for example. And then also it can be seen if it's a task when, when it's finally finished. Then. So be, before to, to show the software engineer, for example, you have to, to print out the, the PDF and send it or store it somewhere. And now with Altium 365, it, the complete schematic can be seen. The software engineer can, can browse through the, the whole schematic, so he can, he can even check himself, uh, okay, which output is, there are some resistors in between, and he can finally see, okay, this, this pin is connected to this pin on microcontroller. Some of the features in, in, in the web interface are even solved a little bit better or clearly than, than in, in, in Altium itself. Often when, when I check projects or uh, want to see okay, where, where, where is this trace going on, on the PCB, in the, the web interface is quite good to even show, review or uh, check where, where connections are. Also our uh, test engineers or even the engineers in, in the production who, who build the, the wiring harness, they, they like it also very much because they can highlight a net in schematic and, and see exactly at, at which pin this, this signal is, is coming out of the connector. So this is quite often used. Even if you think about uh, 
having external partners and, and moving projects by mail and, and checking them in and out and that it's really for, for the for administration part which is uh, also mostly on my side to implement an, an external contra contractor to, to develop for us and to train them and to say, say okay use our libraries templates uh, typically a setup of an external subcontractor takes one hour and then he's ready to go we can see the, the effort he's doing every commit he's making we, we can we can see in the history file what what's going on there we can do the review with the, with the comments so all, all the communication is, is stored so this makes it really quite faster and, and easier to to collaborate what we have in, inside our, our system already so it, it's not stored somewhere else we have it in our workspace <laughs> Nowadays, uh, I think most of the companies are, are working in, in cloud workspaces and, and not on local servers in, in the companies. I think this is, this is what's, what's going on in the world. <laughs> we have one place now where we store our sources, including all the, the, the history, so the history can be seen by everyone. We have all our libraries, components there, and the, also the released output we had this in SAP, the purchase sent from SAP now. The single point of truth is complete in the Altium 365. Sources, libraries and the release data and uh, they are managed from, from there and stored there. I think that the big benefit which saves the, the time and uh, also there might happen less mistakes on, on all the transferring process of, of the, the projects. Altium 365 will help us to improve all those three components, costs, uh, duration and also quality.